I've always been interested in films which are set in one location. Uh, it kind of uh, brings up a lot of challenges to how to keep the action fresh and entertaining. Drugs Lab is basically a, a, a free-for-all fight. We got three different people who have three different disciplines of fighting. Uh, Eco obviously would see that. We got Eka then, who has more of a sort of taekwondo background, and then obviously uh, Pierre Bruno, who has basically a brawling style that we kind of gave him for the choreography. Then. Saya dah ngomong dulu sebelum dengan Garen. Jangan kasih saya fighting yang terlalu berat. Karena masalahnya saya ada cedera kaki. Kita berharap penonton bisa lebih terpukau di serbuan maut. Karena memang kita buat lebih agresif, gaya komikalnya lebih muncul di sini dibanding sama merantau yang menceritakan tentang kehidupan. What we're offering audiences is a, like more like a thrill ride of a film, something that starts and then stays relentless in terms of its pace and the action from beginning to end. I love Tamar's office the most. Uh, the lighting has been really nice in here and all the furniture has been really great. Uh, the CCTV background is really nice as well. Uh, and it kind of, it's the closest that any of the sets have come to being exactly as I imagined them in my head when we were writing the script. So we wanted to make Tama like the, the boss of this building and you know, a very wealthy and a very powerful man, but also somebody who's incredibly casual and incredibly laid back. So that's reflected in terms of his wardrobe design, his posture, his gestures, the way he moves is very deliberate, very slow. Um, and the way he approaches violence is very sort of casual, but cold and detached. Uh, so he makes him much more of a cold-blooded killer than, than anyone ever written before. Pada saat pertama kali gua punya beberapa perbedaan dengan dengan Omre gitu. Cuma lama-lama dengan proses uh, reading yang diulang-ulang gitu, komunikasi diomongin cara pandangnya seperti apa, seperti apa lama-lama ya kita uh, satu pandangan gitu. Ya untuk karakter Tama sebagai tokoh pimpinan gangster di film The Raid, uh, kita memilih uh, Ray Saitapi sebagai pemeran utama. Uh, dia begitu uh, baik uh, berintonasi Karakternya begitu kuat secara pribadi, tanpa harus berdialog, dia sudah bisa uh, menyampaikan apa yang menjadi pesan dari, dari karakter ini. Unik buat saya, 
saya belum pernah pegang toko seperti ini gitu loh. Dan masyarakat juga harus tahu sosok-sosok seperti ini.